a music room. You know what is the most scary in it all, guys? That the first story was based, I forgot to say earlier, first story was based on real events, it seems. And that's scaring the hell out of me. What a title. Okay, uh, when she was passing the music room, the piano suddenly started playing. Oh, we love those moves. She knew something was wrong, but nothing seemed out of the ordinary. That silence covered the atmosphere. As she was turning her heels and heading for the door, the door closed. Just a few seconds later, it all sank into dead silence again. The music classroom is noisy and lively during the day. But at night, it's really quiet. Oh, fuck me! That is a really hard thing to do at the very beginning of a story. I didn't sign up for that. Okay? I... I... I did sign up for a slowly paced horror stories. And no dead bodies after first two minutes. God damn it. Moments later, the room turned into a pool of blood. The girl panicked. But there's a shiny! I want to get that shiny! It has started. I must find him and leave at once. She tried to break out, but all her efforts seemed futile. Right after that, the worst thing is that you're trying not to die, and you know that in the end you will die anyway. That's the worst part. This is putting way too many goosebumps on my skin. We're starting the horror parts way too early in that story. It's like seven mysteries, so everyone starts building up the pace again. At least that's what I believe. As if she was trying to call out to somebody. But everything turned darker. A moment later, she thought about what made her go there. Into the darkness. She walked to the piano tremulously. Can I go for the shiny? First. I wanna get the shiny. Can you not walk faster? I know you can't just care, but... A candle? You don't want a candle, well fuck you. Can you like run away from here? You can't. Fine. I feel like- oh no, those are not foods, those are those thingies that are in the piano, fine. There's- oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my oh, nah 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 I did I didn't sign for that shit. Going to need the puppy therapy if that keeps up I I don't want I I don't want that. There's nothing here. She felt hopeless. She returned to the door and tried again hoping everything's still fine. I feel like the I can't look at her. Yeah. You want that candle because if I would just turn around I probably would die. Okay. Okay That's so that's totally fine. It's that the book like fell down from nothingness or the sailing or I don't know but it's fine oh my goodness 
And oh, now you see the damn ladder. And now it worked. There was a rope ladder on. The, I was trying to tell you that, my, but you never listened to me. You guys never listened to me. And now I have good ideas. Good ideas. And if you would listen, maybe you wouldn't die. I mean, you're not dead yet, but I'm sure that's that's the way you'll end. Because you're a dumb bitch, my. It's too dark, and it's. I told you to get that damn candle before, didn't I? Uh, is there something written in this notebook? No. Amazing, I'm on the roof. It's it's surely it's the way out, isn't it? No, please. I, I, why are you here? No. What are you doing up here? No. Hey. No! No! Oh, I know what will happen here. You... <laughs> Everything was getting weirder. And weirder. The schoolgirl panicked. The stranger laughed madly and terrified her. She could no longer control herself. And she lost her mind. The only thing left in her mind was run, run and run. And hope to escape from this horrible nightmare. <laughs> in the end, the schoolgirl fell from a hole in the attic. Somebody said when she fell, someone was there, watching her die. My! I never noticed this until now. Everything about the school is so shady. We'll never know what is real. And what is not? You're right. But what about the stranger? Who was he? And why did he go insane when he saw the girl? I don't know. But I'm sure his story is not a merry one. 